2006 Dodge Ram 5.7 heavy way more mileage than I can count and this <clears throat> owner has had for years an intermittent no start it'll crank it'll run and it shuts off So first thing before we read in codes is verify customer complaint. What he says it's doing is start, runs, and shuts off. Let's listen for the fuel pump primed. All right, that's exactly what he said it was doing. So, uh, all right, verified the complaint. Now we'll start digging into it. This is the DS708. I really like this tool. I've got some newer ones that are updated, but I don't think I'm gonna need them. With that code of 0002 and the uniform in front of it, that's a CAN bus communication code. And that has to do with the anti-lock brake system. So, we are gonna take a different direction now and look at the control module for the anti-lock brakes and wiring diagram and uh, see what we find there. Uh, when I looked up the code, this is the first chart that came up. You can also find it under the data link connector on all data. And now we have a picture of the, the modules that the CAN network uses to balance information back and forth to get the thing to run. Part of it is the ABS. So that's my uh, thought process. We go after this code and we start uh, breaking down other areas that we have if we need to. There's a bit of an update what I'm working on next. Um, we still have the uh, anti-lock brake no communication fault and this truck will absolutely not run with the uh, anti-lock brake control module disconnected you can see that up here this disconnected the truck will absolutely not start so I think we're on to something because I'm chasing down this wire, this fused wire uh, comes from fuse 28. I have power at this connection. I do not have power at 32, pin 32 at the control or at anti-lock control oh, sorry, the module anti-lock brakes. I'll just read what it says. So I don't have power on this end so there's a break in there between. Now the strange thing is it is pink and gray that comes out of here but what goes into pin 32, the module, is pink and green. So I'm looking now for either a break or a change in color or something. Uh, this truck has been accident. Uh, this truck has had an accident in this corner. So it could be that when they put it back together, they missed a pin. I noticed that every single wire in the tip of them does have a little black mark on it. So somebody was very diligent. And going through the wires, making sure that was everything set. Um, this one may have got missed. Everything goes behind the battery here, so I'm gonna have to dig into that next. Oh, scary, right? Here's what happened. Diagram says fuse 28 is power, pink and gray, to the control module. 32. I wasn't getting power. I tore this all apart. Tip of laying here. You notice something missing? Here's 28. 29, 30. Watch what happens to my power when I put in 30. <laughs> all that for a missing fuse. Why in the heck? Guys, I added. I wanted to add this part of the video because it's important to understand what's going on here. 28, the fuse 28 is in fact labeled as ABS power. Um, I think uh, what we found was this, this spare fuse 30 is what in fact sends power to the ABS module and I have labeled that for future use so there's no more confusion. It sure made a lot of work on my part but we have power to the ABS module, we do not have any codes, and the truck is running. Starts fine now, so we'll just let it go, see what happens. I'll report back to you if there's any change. But that happened possibly because of this accident, and they either had to rewire 
this tip them or maybe they got one that's slightly different than the original I don't know ABS pass no fault that's the one we want to fix that looks good now and let's see if the truck starts Well, the only thing we can do now is put it back together, give it back to the owner, and see if that was the fix for the uh, intermittent crank, start, and die. Alright, that's the next morning. I pulled it out last night. This one about kicked my butt. Let's see if it'll start. Alright, that's good. I'll give it back to the owner now, tell him to drive it, hopefully uh, he doesn't come back with his problems. Hey guys, thanks for coming along on this one.